Yo, what's good, YouTube? Thanks for uh, purchasing my ebook. This is just the intro, intro defense, just my base defense. I come out in out the dollar three two six, and everything we do will be for a reason. Everything we do will have a scheme behind it. Just letting y'all know that. So, uh, before we get into it, uh, I'm gonna just let y'all know the personnel you should have. You should want to have a uh, pretty good man coverage corner slash some good block shedding corners so like if you if you think they're running the ball a lot i mean just have some good man coverage corners who also have some strength you know what i'm saying so anybody like can't really think of any like i don't know i don't know just make sure make sure you mainly have man coverage corners right here though so uh, and make sure you want to have good coverage linebackers here who can also like have good pursuit who can also stop the run and make sure if you're using someone like you can pay him right there because I use user the linebacker, but uh, it's the DB fire two press, and I'm gonna show y'all just I'm gonna show y'all how we want to set this defense up every time. Like if we see particular formations, first thing you want to do if the corners are not uh if the corners aren't like if they both are over here, all you're gonna do is base a line, then press. Wait, let me reset. If the corners are, if both blitz and corners are to the right, because mainly if there's three by one, both corners are going to be to the right to stop the run. Now, if you think your opponent's going to run the ball, you can leave those people over there. Because if you, that's what I like to do, you can leave them over there. Uh, but unless they're in some type of bunch or something, that's the only time I like to, and I know they're passing, that's the only time I like to really bring the other corners over. But you can leave them like this because with auto flip on, they're gonna pit their they're gonna pit them to the strongest sides to stop the run inside zones. So from here, all you wanna do is uh you wanna man this guy up there, and then you wanna man uh you wanna man a tight end up. Or you can leave that guy in a hook zone and you can probably man him up there and use her here. And uh with this guy you can uh, drop him in a hook, do whatever you want. But that's the basically that's this is the uh, this is a concept you, we want to get at. We want to take away we want to take away routes from the tight end slot receiver and running back because in every game, if you just stop and think about it, everybody either throws to their running back on a little the table route, they throw a tight end slant, or they throw that crossing route on verticals or a drag route, or they're looking for their slot receiver. Rarely does anyone use the outside receivers in this game unless they're doing a C route or or a z spot right like that's the or they're just chucking up an aggressive catch that's the only thing that's this is the only thing that really stops uh this is the only thing that really people use a tight end slot receiver and running backs if you take that away like now we're gonna see we just gonna run a play that's just our basic defense you take that away like the the play is shut down. Only person that could have been open is a running back, but let, this is why it's our base defense just to get good coverage out there on the field. So with any formation you see, like and like even if they go to four verticals, this can, this shuts down four verticals because you can you you can do this and do that, and then you can probably just use this guy if you really want to. Uh, but you're gonna see when they run four verticals, this is what happens. It gets shut down. This is the only person you're watching. There's nothing they can do. This base defense can shut down almost any defense in the game. And just using this defense and starting to mix up a lot of uh, blitzes in there. It's like... Uh, I don't even know why I did that. But, like I said, this defense, uh, this defense is very good just to come out in and start in. Like I said... Uh, and it has good run fits. This is the only. Re this is the other reason I come out in this play because the run fits. Like everything is filled rather than the other cover two. This has a lot better run fits. So this base defense will you will be pretty successful with this. Uh, and then this, as you move through this, you can transition to mixing in blitzes, mixing in schemes, doing whatever you do. But just like I said, manning that guy up and manning that slot receiver up. And I usually use this guy, but if you're if they're in like two by two or something this corner will be over here like this 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 how the corners will usually be if they're in two by two if they're in like three by one the four vertical formation you usually want to man this guy up on a tight end i just man him up head up and like user this guy that's just what i usually like to do or i do that and then i use this guy so then when they do run a play any play they do run like any play will be shut down if you can shade underneath to cover the flats if you want 
But usually if they're throwing to the running back, I just do something like this. I man him up there. And then I watch the tight end myself. So if they do run that same play, if they do run that same play, you can everything locked up and you just I mean it's it's like I said, it's a real big good defense. Then from here you can transition to a lot more other you can transition to all your other blitzes. Uh, mix it up, mix pressure in, mix coverage in, and you will be successful.